It's Senior Weekend 2023 here at Club Farrington and Arizona State Softball has had a very difficult matchup this weekend against number 10 Stanford as they've lost each of the first two games of the three game weekend set by final scores of 4 to 2 and 8 to 1 respectively, extending their losing streak to now 10 games, a losing streak that has not occurred in this program since 2016. In the opener Friday, the Sun Devils for the first time in what seems like forever finally jumped out in front first as they gained two early runs off a throwing error and a precise bunt from McKenna Harper, giving ASU momentum they thought would carry to a win. However, nine of ASU's final 12 batters were feasted on by freshman superstar Nigerie Kennedy, who would combine her relief appearance on Friday and her start on Saturday night with eight and a third innings of one run, one walk, and 20 strikeouts, a dominant set of outings that coach Megan Bartlett knew was too much for her squad. But you're talking about a kid with, I think, a .29 or a .3 ERA right now. Like, she's going to be, you know, it's just tough to hit. I mean, they're tracking they're tracking the movement. They know what they're looking at. Um, but 70 up in the zone and 70 with a filthy curve is not easy to hit. Meanwhile, on Saturday, ASU's offense, thanks to Kennedy, was mostly non-existent, even with ASU mustering up six hits, all of which coming from this year's senior class, a group that Coach Barlett hopes sees the light behind the Sun Devils' recent struggles. The really great ones can learn how to use it, and that's what they're going to have to do tomorrow, right? Like, this is their day, and it's about them. This, is, this whole rest of their experience is going to be what they make it. It's very solidly in their control, so especially for our older kids at the plate, I mean, that's one to six in our lineup, so um, I'm excited for them. The home season finale is tomorrow for the Sun Devils, and while for seniors like Jasmine Hill, Yanni Acuna, and Jordan Van Hook, who have been with this program since day one, it will be permanent to know that they will have deeply emotional at-bats tomorrow. Not only because their at-bats will be their final ones here at Club Farrington, but also that their at-bats could possibly be the ones that determine whether this Sun Devils group has any chance of having any postseason ball following the inaugural conference tournament in Tucson in two weeks. Reporting live from Club Farrington in Tempe, Max Apeta. Cronkite Sports.